The time has come. With 2025 on the horizon, it promises to be an exciting year. And after numerous delays, the highly anticipated Dream Chaser space plane might finally take flight. The space plane has a significant chance to make its mark in the growing race. Meanwhile, NASA has taken unexpected steps by withholding details about the identified issue with the Orion heat shield. In stark contrast, Dragon continues to prove its value to the ISS, recently completing a reboost mission. Let's dive into these developments on today's episode of Great SpaceX. The year 2024 has come and gone, and Dream Chaser has yet to launch, despite hopes that it would shake up the space race. The primary issue remains its alignments with the Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle. Earlier in the year, while Vulcan awaited its readiness, Dream Chaser was still in testing phases. By the second half of the year, when Dream Chaser was prepared, Vulcan was preoccupied with attaining launch certification and clearing its backlog of missions for the USSF's NSSL contract. As of the latest updates, Dream Chaser's debut flight is now anticipated for May of 2025. If accurate, this timeline marks a full year delay from the previous estimate of early 2024. Given Vulcan's current progress, Dream Chaser's inaugural mission may occur on either the 7th or 8th flight of this rocket. Dream Chaser has now completed critical evaluations including vibration, thermal, and pressure tests. In an August update, Sierra Space announced, Dream Chaser and Shooting Star are commencing final testing and launch preparations in Florida, ahead of their inaugural mission to resupply the ISS. We have selected all points logistics for reprocessing the reusable space plane for future missions. In September, following further assessments with the Shooting Star module, Sierra Space added, Our team successfully completed the ISS joint test of our passive common berthing mechanism, or PCBM for short. This test verified that the PCBM meets NASA's standards, including leak tests and alignment checks, ensuring berthing interface safety between Dream Chaser and the ISS. With over half a year remaining before the anticipated launch in May of 2025, Sierra Space will likely conduct additional system verifications. One crucial area for a review is the heat shield, a key component for Dream Chaser's successful re-entry through the atmosphere. Unlike traditional spacecraft, Dream Chaser's design includes multiple small parts, such as wings, that pose both potential advantages and challenges. The wings in particular must withstand re-entry forces and operate flawlessly to guide Dream Chaser to a safe landing. Although routinely inspected, this extended pre-launch period could still pose risks to components. Personally, seeing Dream Chaser launch soon would certainly add excitement to the competition among spacecraft. For now, SpaceX's Dragon continues to set a high bar in performance and reliability. With 10 crewed missions for NASA, 4 private missions, and a spacewalk mission, all with a flawless success rate, Dragon's capabilities stand out. SpaceX also recently completed its 31st cargo mission, reinforcing Dragon's role as a versatile asset. Meanwhile, Starliner has faced persistent issues. Parachute, wiring, and helium leak problems delayed its mid-year launch. Once on the ISS, further complications arose during docking, forcing it to remain in orbit for an additional three months and return without a crew. Currently, Boeing's spacecraft is under inspection, and its next launch date remains uncertain. NASA recently confirmed the schedules and crews for the Crew-10 and Crew-11 missions, while Starliner's schedule remains uncertain. This delay opens the door for Dream Chaser to step up and establish its role. Starliner's challenges may even jeopardize its position in NASA's program, with Boeing reportedly considered selling it due to mounting losses. Sierra Space, on the other hand, has reasons for optimism. Although it started later, Dream Chaser has shown far more promising test results than Starliner. Its space plane design offers distinct advantages over traditional spacecraft, potentially making it a valuable asset to NASA. With strong performance, Dream Chaser could ultimately replace Starliner in NASA's program. Some have suggested that United Launch Alliance, or ULA, could use its remaining Atlas V flights, originally allocated for Starliner, to launch Dream Chaser instead. This shift would provide scheduling flexibility for Dream Chaser while allowing Vulcan to concentrate on national security space launch missions. Replacing Starliner is one matter. Competing with and surpassing SpaceX's Dragon is another. Nevertheless, Dream Chaser's upcoming launch has sparked considerable excitement, especially given its potential to succeed where Starliner has struggled.
Are you as eager as I am to see Dream Chaser launch? If so, reply yes in the comments. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's journey. Choosing Starliner may have been a misstep for NASA, but now the agency faces another challenge of similar gravity. After extensive investigation since the Artemis 1 mission in 2022, NASA recently announced that it has completed its analysis of the root cause of the Orion heat shield issue. Yet, instead of providing a long-awaited explanation, NASA stated it would hold back the findings until further tests are completed. A surprising move that has left the aerospace community waiting for clarity. At the Lunar Exploration Analysis Group, or League, meeting on October 28th, Lori Glaze, Acting Deputy Associate Administrator and NASA's Exploration Systems Development Mission Directorate stated, We have conclusive determination of what the root cause is of the issue. We have been able to demonstrate and reproduce it in the ARC jet facilities out at Ames. However, she noted, I'm not going to share right now. When it comes out, it will all come out together. Lakeisha Hawkins, Assistant Deputy Associate Administrator in the Moon to Mars office added, we have gotten to a root cause. We are having conversations within the agency to make sure we have a good understanding of what's going on, not only with the heat shield, but also next steps in how that actually applies to Artemis II. Despite the issue, Glaze remains optimistic about Orion's progress, noting that the Artemis II Orion heat shield has already been built and will undergo testing by the end of November. She also promised that NASA would release further details on the heat shield issue and the Artemis II plan by year's end. With less than a year remaining until Artemis II, NASA's lack of transparency is raising concerns. Faced with the heat shield issue, NASA has two choices. Keep the existing heat shield with associated risks or replace it, which could push the launch date further, possibly to 2026, a delay that would significantly impact the Artemis timeline. NASA's system presents a considerable challenge for the program, though SpaceX and its advancing Starship system remain a critical backup. As the situation develops, the question arises, will NASA resolve the issue on time, or will SpaceX once again have to step in? And now, we turn to an update on the ISS Reboost task performed by Dragon. The mission took place on November 8th, carried out by SpaceX's Dragon cargo spacecraft. The operation was supported by Dragon's engine, which fired for 12 and a half minutes. NASA officials noted that while this reboost task had been performed many times before, this marked the first time for SpaceX's Dragon. Future versions of Dragon will be larger and capable of deorbiting the ISS. Jared Metter, SpaceX's Director of Flight Reliability, commented, The data we're going to collect from this reboost and attitude control demonstration will be very helpful, and this data is going to lead to future capability, mainly the USD orbit vehicle. In July, SpaceX was selected to develop a vehicle that will deorbit the ISS no earlier than 2030, once commercial space stations are prepared to succeed it. Since this future deorbit vehicle will also be a version of Dragon, the recent reboost provided critical data to aid in this effort. The ISS orbits in low Earth orbit, approximately 400 kilometers or 240 miles above Earth. Over time, the station naturally loses altitude and requires periodic reboosts to maintain its position. In the past, these reboosts were primarily handled by Russia's Soyuz spacecraft. However, the geopolitical situation, including the Russia-Ukraine conflict and Russia's intention to exit the ISS partnership in 2028 to construct its own station, prompted the need for an alternative. In 2022, Northrop Grumman's Cygnus spacecraft performed a boost, and now it was time for SpaceX's Dragon. With this success, SpaceX reaffirmed its vital role to NASA, the ISS, and the aerospace industry. Beyond delivering cargo and crew, Dragon now contributes to extending the ISS's final years in orbit. This reboost achievement sets an important foundation for the ISS's eventual deorbit at the end of the decade, a challenging but significant honor for Dragon. This successful reboost also restored some confidence in SpaceX following recent issues with Falcon 9 in July, August, and September, as well as a minor parachute issue on Dragon during Crew 8. Despite these setbacks, SpaceX remains the industry's leading hope. Looking further ahead, Dragon will continue to be integral, as SpaceX launches most of the commercial stations that will eventually replace the ISS. Even then, Dragon will serve as the primary resupply vehicle, embodying both the present and future of U.S. space exploration. More than any other vehicle, Dragon deserves to be regarded as the pride and future of the American aerospace industry. 
Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.